it's, this is the kind of butcher it'll texture that would be great to get a piece of. And it's relatively free of sediment, which is good. Yeah. yeah. Rotate your jaws. Rotate your wrist to the right just a little and open up. No. Yeah, that's a good bite there. Nice. Look at that. Good chunk. Oh, oh. bye bye. And there goes the boulder. <laughs> or you, do we want to do a. You got a good grip on it? Spin? Uh, yeah. Two, so. two finger grip. All right, let, let's just stow it. Okay. Uh, if you yeah. hold it with the uh, rock up, you can rotate left a little more, maybe. Yeah, beauty. I, I, I might stop there. Nice. <laughs> Very, very altered, but uh, still a good crust, it looks like. Okay, let me get my ducks in a row here. So this area, I think, is has a really either high sedimentation rate or it's just been collecting for such a long time that these are, these are quite the sedimentary layers that we're looking at here. But then on top <clears> of it... Is that just a crust, or...? Can we get a zoom on these layers? Look at all that sand. Interesting. Hmm. So is the crust on the sedimentary rocks the same as the crust that forms on the volcanic rocks, or does it depend on the chemical composition Science, of Science, I'd like to keep each. moving along, yep. if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Sure, keep thank moving. you, Abby. I mean, I actually don't want to keep moving along. I want to stay here, but <laughs> that's just not the way it is. Yeah, but that's yes, fine. That's fine. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Let's go. Oh, this is a different shark. Oh, yeah, it's a, is that a shark? I think it's a shark. Yeah, it looks like maybe a cat shark. Oh, no, come back. Oh, come back. Yeah, it looks like a cat shark. Not a dog shark, but a cat shark. I mean, they're a dogfish, right? But not yeah. dog sharks. Is there a dog? There's but no isn't dog the shark. dogfish a cartilaginous fish? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Can we get yeah. the arm out? Uh, I don't know that yet. Very nice. Cat shark. What about this one? Let's circle that again. Yeah, I see what you're looking for. Hey, Roger. All right, Jake, get in there and get that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little big. What about that one just yeah, to the Yeah, this one? Left? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that one might be better. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Cool beans. Ooh. We can put that in... Forward bio box A. Okay, you want to get a zoom on it first? You want porch lights? Yeah, give me porch lights. I think we should probably uh, put the rocks on the get starboard some side of this? so we can leave the forward boxes for bio stuff. Yeah. Especially with a jumpy arm. Uh, so while they're picking up one of these rocks, uh, someone in the science chat said that they were hunting for them a while back out in Coral Sea. When they brought up the rocks that they were looking for small corals attached to the rocks, but they found really small, a few millimeters tall carnivorous yeah, sponges on these rocks. And they're wondering if we find anything like that on our rocks. And actually we did. We did bring up a rock yesterday we and we were able to find some carnivorous sponges on them, two of them actually. It's very cool. And <laughs> just, just to let you know, there's, um, Parts of this sponge that are dead and parts that are alive, we're going to want the kind of whiter portion. The darker, more opaque portion is probably dead. Uh, if you can get some of that uh, coral too on there, that wouldn't be all that bad either, but it may require a deeper grab. You know, the, those polyps are part of a coral attached to the sponge. Can you zoom in there, if you Jimmy? can't grab the coral, it's okay too. The sponge is the primary target. Okay. FYI, oh, this right, is right. going to be really crunchy. It's going to break very easy. Okay. Right. That's the bitey ones right about there. Right, right there. there. Happy with that, Steve? It's right there. 
I think so. That, yeah. Yeah, that, that's fine, yeah. That's for the coral bit. Nicely done. So is this going in the forward box, you said? Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? You could probably slurp that. Okay. That's loose. Yep. Let's do it. Okay, Jake. All right. Big enemies. You ready for sample? Sponges. Yep. Can we turn it? Somewhat flat. Yeah. All right. Nice and dark. Oh, and a brittle star. Wait, is that a brittle star? Uh, no, I was didn't see it. There. Nice. We'll take it. We'll see what happens. Uh, where's it going? Starboard box? Starboard Delta. Okay. That box is full. Yeah. Is snip and slurp? Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe that's best. Yeah. yeah. Small piece. So. And these are protonaceous, so it's going to be a little tricky to snap off. Huh? Yeah, it's going to be like yeah. nylon line. It might end up breaking off. Yeah, we might uh, end up with the whole thing. Oh, probably keep some away. Yeah, they're all jumping off. I think you might have got I it. I think you got it, yeah. <laughs> it looks like the base snapped back. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow, great job. All right. Pop it out. Yeah, the starboard side there. Jeremy Horowitz is uh, a scientist of shore, says it might be a Lillipathes, Rita Marie. Okay. Go that way. There you go. Go, there. go, go. Gravity, gravity, gravity. Okay. There it goes. Woohoo! Stay. Okay, good collect. Sample 98. Man, that thumb just wants to go for that blue button. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of these samples say how big they are in the descriptions? The first one is a small black one. Okay. Let's try and put it in that box first. Okay. That's encrusted. Yep. We have about a medium sized rock. Looks good. Alright. Going in the starboard box? Yep. We're going to try to put it in A. There's a small rock in there already, so we're hoping this one fits inside with that one. Five? Yep. Five. It's rock number seven. Yes. Rock seven. Oh my goodness, this, this rock, is formation rock formation is amazing. Yeah. I do not wow. think this is volcanic. <laughs> oh no? Interesting. Just looking at the arch that's on top. <laughs> wow. Hmm. What do you think it is, Amber? You can go just like half zoom now? I'm just going to go with a, you know, ah, oh, goodness, a calcite, a calcium carbonate, I mean. I don't know. I so really dark. don't know. That's it's just beautiful. That is all of those right there. The weathering feature of that is just kind of yeah. it's magnificent. Very unusual. Really interesting. With so these. many holes. Mm -hmm. This is like definitely my favorite stuff to fly around. These like very like dramatic rock features. You just like go up and over and around and through. 